solving for a or b using the Pythagorean theorem. In this round we have a right triangle and we are to solve for the missing side which is b. Step 1. Substitute the values in the Pythagorean theorem. Now when we have a right triangle and we need to solve for its side we can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared to solve for the missing sides. And in this problem, we are to solve for b. Now, we, we can use the same theorem to solve for a or c as well, too, as long as we have two of the other sides. So let's substitute in our values. We know that a is equal to 9, so I'm going to substitute in 9 for a. We don't know what b is, so we'll just leave it as b. And c is 15, so I'm going to substitute in 15 for c. Step 2. Simplify and isolate the unknown by subtracting. Now we are to solve for b, so the first thing we should do is to simplify our equation. 9 squared is 81. 15 squared is 225. Then our next step is to isolate our unknown variable, which is b squared. And in order to do so, we must get rid of this 81. So I'm going to subtract 81 here. And to balance the equation, I have to do the same on the other side of the equal sign. 81 subtract 81, that goes away. And 225 subtract 81 is 144. So b squared is equal to 144. I'm not quite done yet. And finally, the next step is, and the final step, is to take the square root. So to solve for b, I have to take the square root of b squared. And to balance the equation, I have to do the same on both sides of the equal sign. Square root of b squared and square root of 144. Square root of b squared is simply b, and square root of 144 is 12. And that is the answer for my missing side, 12. Now I can use the same method to solve for a if b is given and a is our unknown. So this completes our problem.